Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to teach you how you can use Dashlane for password management and also for securing your password. So the first thing that you want to do is go to top right and click get Dashlane. If you already have your own account, I'll just skip this part. Here I'm going to click add to Chrome, add extension, wait until it's going to uh, download and here we are. Dashlane password management is going to be in here and here start using Dashlane for free. So right now I have my own Dashlane. I just added it. I'm going to add my email address. This is just like my fake email address here. Strong password. Re-enter the password. And now I agree to Dashlane terms of service and privacy policy. And I like to receive emails with the tips and special offers if you want to. So right now we installed our extension and we are creating the account here. Create my account. And here I'm going to jump into the app. And voila, here we are. So what did I do on the top right? I just jumped in application here. What you have to do next is to uh, we are going step by step and how we can use it. First thing first, how we can add passwords. Here you're going to click add password. And here pick a website you use. So let's say I'm going with a Facebook. Or let's say I'm going with, yeah, I'm thinking right now what I would do, twitter.com. Then log in by entering your email and password. So open selected website. Here I'm going to sign with a phone and email. And as you can see, okay, not create account, but I want to sign in. So now I will just do email. You see right here that automatically adds me, but I'm not going to use it. Dot com password. Yep. And here we are. So as you can see, we are in. Look at this and now when I'm going to open selected website, I'm going back to more and let's say I'm going to close this down. Three dots, log out, log out. Damn, Twitter is like. And then look, it's still not here because I didn't save it, so I'm going to add it. And password. And yes. Mark Kaminsky saved this account in Dashlane. Save. You saved your first password. Save it in Dashlane. And now look at this. You saved your first password. Check out the extension to see how Dashlane can help you log in anywhere. And this is how you do it, right? So right now, when I would go in passwords, I would say it. In get started, as you can see, add your first password as a browse. We got it. I can simply click add new here. You can add whatever website you want. So like, I don't even know what website because I'm signing everywhere with my Gmail accounts. So I'm thinking right now what kind of thing I would do. So you can add Facebook here, Twitter. Let's say that I'm going to add. <laughs> yeah, I should have figured this out before creating this tutorial, right? Twitter, Instagram, right? Let's say. You can use it for Instagram.com. And I'm not even using Instagram, right? Or you can use it also for Facebook or for YouTube, whatever. You just add your website, your login, the password and name and note. You get also uh, autofill options right here. So you can only automatically log me into this website only autofill on exit URL, 
always require master password for this website. So when you're going to enter, let's say twitter.com, I would click on this autofill options. I can have it like automatically log me into this website. I can have auto only autofill on exact URL and always require master password. So what does it mean is that when you would like to log in on twitter.com, you would need to also add your password that you have on dash line. So let's say I'm going to be on Twitter and I'm going to close this. I'm going to log out. And I'm going to like this log in. Login phone email and look at this automatically login. But let's say I'm going to disable automatically login and I'm going to only autofill on exit URL save. And I'm going to log out again. And I'm going to log in use phone. See, it's only out of fields. It's not going to log me in. That's the difference here. Then let's say I'm going to be always require master password. Save, but we disable guys. We disable only out of on exit URL. As you can see, we disabled the only autofill on exit URL. It's disabled and always require master password for this website. So right now when I'm going to refresh the website, I don't have autofill, but let's say I'm going to copy mail. I don't have autofill. I don't have anything. Copy password. And you got it, right? So this is how you do it. I know it didn't work with the autofill. I got no idea what went wrong there. But I think I just opened it. Who knows? And what you can do then on passwords, you can share them with others. Let's say Netflix password. And you can also change the password. Then secure notes. This is something that you can also add. Secure notes, you would click add new. And this is my notes. Save it. Personal information. So this is where you would find your secure notes. Personal information. Add, you can add an email, phone number, address, company. So let's say I would have a company name. And this would be my personal information with phone numbers, everything, right? So that's what you can do. And you can add multiple things here. Name, email, phone number, address, company and website. And the next thing that I'm going to show you is how you can add payments and IDs. So you can click here on payments and you can add new and you can add credit and debit card. So let's say that you would like to pay for something and you don't want to always search for it. You would add name, card number, security number, security code, expiration date and name on the card. Or you can add a bank account here. So this is really cool. Like I have multiple accounts from the business spend 10 point and also with normal accounts. So it can be really useful to using the bank here. And I'm not going to, of course, edit my own credit card right now because this is just tutorial for the video. But this is pretty much it how we do it. Then you have ID. This is again, you can add ID card, social, social security number, driver's license, passport, tax number. So let's say I'm going to add an ID card. And I can add Marcus Stone, then I would add number month expiration country Slovakia click save and voila of course I can add driver's license here passport tax number and then under IDs you're gonna have sharing center and you can share items with others
So this is pretty straightforward and pretty easy how we can work with it. Now the security tools and how you can use it. You would come here to password health. And you would see your own password health, how it is right now. And under that you would have dark web monitoring. And you can monitor your first email. You can monitor up to five email addresses. So send activation link. Now I would go to my email if I get it. Yes, I got it. See right now, look at this. Four breaches found with your data. Password emails, dub smash. I don't got no idea what is this, man. Yep, and then also Evony. This was really, really far when I played this game. So this is pretty much it how we do it. It was a really, really old game. Yeah, I was playing a few years back of 2016, mamma mia. So this is pretty much it how we do it, right? And you see it right here. Breaches, and you can have multiple emails here. And you can see, and that's pretty much it. So this is pretty much it how we use uh, Dashlane. Thank you very much guys for watching. If you can have any questions, ask me down in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you and provide some guidance. And yeah, have a great day and goodbye. Then you can always look on my account here and see account summary, manage logins, logins, security settings, export data, import passwords, etc. Thank you very much, guys, and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.